Welcome back to the adventures of Harry Fenton. <laughs> All right. Well, as you may recall, it was about April 9th when Harry Fenton's adventures were last featured. And in that situation, in that episode, he began a journey of exploration known as the Road to Riches. 557 planets, high-value planets that if a new pilot comes along and scans them, uh, they can earn a considerable amount of money in exploration money uh, when they sell the data. And so, Harry Fenton began this trip with the idea of scanning all 557 planets on the road to riches, plus a few more here and there because I do know the sort of things to look for that would boost that up just a little bit once in a while. This was, uh, like I said, in April 9th. The mission itself took nine days, and then I had assorted various and sundry things that kind of put Harry Fenton on the back burner. But he is not forgotten. And as you can see in these visuals, his ship has taken a little bit of a beating. Not too bad of one. Mostly it's just the paint job, so it looks worse than it is. And now, cutting to the clip recorded at the end of the Road to Riches mission. Well, as you've seen, the ship has seen some better days, and I can go over here to the module section, and you'll notice that, yeah, some of these things are down a little ways. Uh, not critically, dangerously. The ship's not going to fall apart or anything like that, but it needs work, and it's been through a lot. This has been a long haul, and so now... I have already searched up a place looking for the nearest station to the current location. And so what I'm going to do is I'm heading there. And I'm going to get to that station and I'm going to dock up, do some repairs, and consider my next move. Surprisingly enough, it will not be to sell all of this exploration data right away. That is going to be in stages, I think. All right. Well, now, the, the stuff that you've seen so far in this video is material that was recorded right around the 18th or so of last April. In between then and now, I have had various and sundry issues, as I said, that uh, caused me to be kind of on the busy side. And uh, for Harry Fenton to be on the back burner. But he's not been forgotten. At the end of that trip... You see, there is a utility that I use with Elite Dangerous called ED Discovery. And what that program does is it reads the game log and presents the information in that log in a user-friendly format. We'll put it that way. And one of those things is some statistics that it presents. And on this screenshot right here, you can see all kinds of information about Harry Fenton's trip. That uh, he did 703 jumps. He traveled a grand total of 11,673 light years. And uh, he did 1,531 scans in that time. And here at the bottom of the column labeled last dock. You see, he undocked and he went on that mission and he did not dock again until the thing was complete. And so 
just before docking, I took this screenshot. And the scan value, now that's an estimated number because you never know exactly what your scan value is until you sell the scan data. But the estimated scan value is 344,905,892 credits. That's not bad for nine days' work. Yeah. And so Harry Fenton is going to sell that data, although he's not going to sell it all at once, not all in one place. There is a use for that, because you see, one of the things that you get when you sell the scan data, in addition to getting credits, is that you get reputation. Reputation with the faction that is in charge of or controls or owns the station you sell the data at. So that's a valuable thing and uh, I spent some time I did the research I read the Frontier forum I read the Steam forum I did Google searches and whatnot and the end result is that I figured out a good place for Harry Fenton to go and I am now going to head off in that direction to that system, a place called Nagalin, N-G-A-L-I-N-N, -N, you pronounce it how you want, uh, where he's going to be able to run data delivery courier missions to gain even more reputation. And occasionally those missions will include missions for the Imperial Navy, which will result in him gaining rank because right now he has no rank with the Empire. This is going to change. So, on arrival at Nagalan, I docked up with a station called Hickam Survey, and in there I took some time. One of the things I did was to sell exploration data. I sold two pages of it, which represents a fair amount of systems and whatnot, and that got me about 60 million credits. And then from there, I take a bunch of these missions, which these are data delivery courier missions. I don't actually have to haul any materials or objects or anything from one place to another. I just have to take this data and deliver it to another station and get paid for it. And at the same time getting paid, I also get an option. I get three options generally as to what the pay will be for each mission. And each time I select whatever option gives me the best reputation boost. And all things being equal, I'll take the one that pays the most cash. And so on. And so after loading up selling exploration data and loading up on all the data delivery missions I could carry, which you can take up to 20 at a time. I headed over to the next system, uh, Mainani, which is one hop away, where these systems are located such that all of their missions from each one, from each system, goes to the immediately neighboring system and it's a really sweet setup in that particular regard because it's just nice and easy one jump between each set of missions and uh, so i go over to mainani i sell another two pages of exploration data this sets me up around uh, i think it was around 110 million credits worth of cash available and plus, of course, I'm getting paid for these delivery missions. And after the first round or two each, I'm getting time bonuses. 10, 20, or even 150,000 credits per mission. So I'm getting like a million credits in bonus money for each mission, which means the bonuses are actually worth a heck of a lot more than the actual mission value. So I'm coming up with... a 
decent flow of cash coming in. I know there's ways to do it a heck of a lot faster, but this is decent enough for a character that hasn't really done very much. And so on. And the plan here is to continue doing this. Occasionally getting promotions. Uh, well, when I sold the exploration data, I got several promotions in exploration rank. Ending up at Ranger, I believe it was. And I got several promotions in Imperial Military Rank. And this is good because there are some ships uh, that you can't buy or systems that you cannot visit until such time as you have sufficient rank. And so that is progressing. And now I am going to cut back to the last clip in this series in this video that was made after I discovered the existence of 25 minutes of video with no microphone that was fun all right well you folks know about this already but uh, I just now found out that out of 25 minutes of video, not one of it had microphone. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> it happens. It, the best you can do is to try to prevent it. And sometimes, no matter what you do, you can't avoid it. It happens. But anyhow, to summarize, I've gotten uh, back to Hickam Survey after I loaded up on missions, went to the other station in Mainani, loaded up, got those taken care of, loaded up on more missions, one of which was a, a rank-up mission for some actual military rank with the Empire. So I'm doing it right. It's a little s slow but it's happening let's see i'm going to continue preferring reputation incoming message thank you very much they've got a bunch of them with the last one and i didn't look at any of them all right and again choosing reputation and i'm thinking uh eh, what i want to do is to build my reputation up with all of the empire parties all of the Empire factions. Uh, I'm looking for the particular one here. Satya of Nagalan. Here it is. Courier job for Imperial Naval Myth Intelligence. All right. Reputation. Sure. Message. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look at some of this. All right. Navy promotion to outsider. Okay. And now a lot of these are time bonuses, which, well, let's see. How much time? Zero hours, zero minutes. Oh, that's not possible. Zero minutes. Okay, the time bonuses will get better as my reputation with them goes up. All right. I believe that's zero hours, zero minutes. Or is... Yeah, it is. But as... As my reputation with them goes up and whatnot, the time bonuses will involve more time to get completion done so that'll work meanwhile i'm going to be basically what i want to work on here is just getting like allied status with all of the empire factions in this system and in the mainani system once i achieve that then I'll be heading somewhere else to sell some more of that exploration data that I didn't sell all of. And, yeah, we'll get to that in a future episode. And hopefully both graphics 
processing will be better and hopefully I will have better fortune getting the microphone to record. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here. Mr. Tim Foster.